The following clips are taken from the BBC News on the 16th of September uh, 2008. Uh, this is very good news for the fertility couples that go down to the Sir Navis Giant with me. And I'm pleased to say that um, the magic is working very, very well, even when you couldn't see the figure properly. But now it's back, people won't fall down the hill and break their neck. Anyway, here's the clip. I'm Kevin Carlyon. This is the Sir Navis Giant in Dorset. This is his eye. That's his eyebrow. That's his nose. This is a mythical legend. We're with Rob Rose from the National Trust, who is real. Um, Rob, the giant has been disappearing from the hillside. Why has that been happening? Well, that's right. Unfortunately, over time, the chalk that makes up the giant degrades. It goes a very grey, browny colour. But also, with the wet summers, we've got lots of vegetation growing in the trenches, uh, lots of grass, lots of moss and things like that. So the old chalk has got to be taken away. Um, all done by hand and then new fresh clean white chalk is put in packed down and uh, hopefully the giants will be looking nice and clean and spick and span again work has begun it's yeah. happening up at the top of the hill where That's right. the the club that the giant wields is the first to get rechalked it's a really steep hill it's supposed to be really hard work it is it's hard laborious work and uh, we started from the top of the hill and worked down so uh, this is the the start of the new chalk going back in we've um doing it in yeah. lots of different layers putting new chalk back in, pounding it down, as you can see, building layers and layers back up to, um, to get back up to the surface and uh, get him looking nice, clean and white again and uh, back to his best. Is it hard work? Yeah. <laughs> this is the start of it. This is day three. Mm -hmm. You've got lots of people working yeah. down here. How long is it going to take you? Well, hopefully we've had quite a few volunteers so far. So hopefully we'll have it done by the end of the week. And um, all really depends on fingers crossed for the weather and how many people come out and help us uh, carry out the task. Now, because the giant has disappeared for so long, mm -hmm. we will be able to see it again in about a week's time. Absolutely. Then. Hopefully by the end of the week. So next Sunday we'll be finished and uh, you'll be able to see him and he'll be looking fantastic again. For those not in the know, the Cernobus Giant is actually the leading fertility place in the whole of the world. It's reputed that people have gone here for centuries to actually make love on the 20-foot willy um, that adorns the hillside. And I am pleased to say that I've tried this out um, with many, many couples who couldn't conceive and didn't want IVF for adoption. And it's actually worked. And now you can actually see the giants again. Chipping away, slowly awakening the sleeping giant from his slumber. Soon he will be seen once again in his full glory. What you can see here, these are his eyes, two eyes, okay, and this is his nose. This is the Cern Abbas giant, mythological icon of Dorset. But over the past year, he's almost disappeared. We've had um, a lot of moss has grown in the vegetation in the, on the hillside today, this year, and um, also the grass has grown and the sheep have not been able to keep up with the, the rate of the grass growth. It's a big job. Every inch of the giant, including this, his eyebrow, needs to be cut, dug out and refilled with layers of chalk. It's also a slow job. Meticulous, time-consuming. The giant's modesty may not be preserved, but he needs to be. No one is exactly sure how the giant got here. Records go as far back as 1694, but some believe it could date much earlier than that. His place in folklore, though, is legendary. At May Day, they go up and dance around the Maypole at the top, and couples in, during May Day, they'll go and sit on the giant. Whether this rechalking will enhance the giant's legendary powers, well, who knows? But just in case, the National Trust isn't taking any chances. Next year, it's hoping some sheep will come in eat the grass, ensuring the giant will remain a proud symbol of fertility for many years to come.